Hello, Dr. Nat here. So we are discussing this problem from chapter 4. Two blocks are connected by a light string that passes over two frictionless pulleys as in the figure below. So the block of mass M2 is attached to a spring right, of force constant K and mass 1 is greater than mass 2. If the system is released from rest and the spring is initially not stretched or compressed, so we know that Ke kinetic energy is zero and the spring potential energy is zero. Find an expression for the maximum displacement D of M2. Okay, so we know that um, we have conservative forces acting on this uh, system. There is no non-conservative forces or friction. Friction is absent in this problem. We can assume that the energy, uh, initial energy and the final energy will be the same or the energy is maintained constant, right? So the initial energy that we have now will be the same energy that we have later. Okay, so if my mass goes down, this guy would go up and this guy would have some extension. Therefore, the decrease in energy in M1 or specifically the decrease in gravitational potential energy is compensated by the increase in gravitational potential energy in M2 and also the increase in spring potential energies. So I can actually write it like this. So M1 uh, G minus D since it's going down, right? Plus M2 G positive D is going up this is a positive and this is a negative this is a D eh? this is a D okay and plus with the uh, spring potential energy 1 over 2 K D squared so remember I told you guys that whatever decrease happening over here whatever decrease in energy it will be compensated equally by the increase in energy over here so if they are equal, so this guy is a minus and this guy is a positive and they are equal, this would give me zero, right? They should cancel each other out. So with this um, knowledge, I can rearrange this equation to be M1GD, which is equal to M2GD plus 1 over 2 KD squared. So I'm seeing some opportunity to... Um, cancel out some terms so I'm going to cancel out D over here and this leaves me with M1G equals to M2G plus 1 over 2 KD so I'm just left with this guy over here so I can rearrange this again to become M1G uh, minus M2G times 2 divided by K Right, and this would give me D. So this is the expression that I'm looking for. So again, let me do a recap on this. What happened was we know that energy is conserved in this system. We know this. Um, there's no non-conservative forces. So EI must be equal to EF or they must be constant from the beginning to the end. Now with that said, if this guy moves downwards, it must be compensated equally by the increase in energy in M2 and also in the spring. So whatever decrease, it must be compensated. So when I add these two together, the decrease in energy and the increase in energy, they must give me a zero because I want my system to have a constant energy. So with that in mind, I equate these to become, sorry, I equate these um, two sides to become equal to zero because we know that they, they are compensated by each other. So M1GD equals to M2GD plus 1 over 2KD squared. And I see an opportunity to cancel out the D. So I'm left with only 1D over here. So rearranging this equation to solve for D, I get 2M1G minus M2GK. Or I can also factor out G from here. So it becomes 2G M1 minus M2 over K. Alright? 